Hello and welcome back. My name is Mary Van Dyke. I am the owner of Finding Grandpa. I wanted to share an experience that I had last month when I was trying to help someone find information on his ancestors from Loch Ray, Ireland. And I realized there was no clear boundary uh, definitions uh, with the Catholic Church parishes compared to civil parishes. At irishtimes.com slash ancestor you can get maps for civil parishes and Catholic parishes on their website under the place names tab. Down the left margin click civil parish maps you're taken to a map of the island. You zoom in on any county I'm selecting Galway and this is the Galway civil parish listings. I have numbers on the map that correspond with an alphabetical list of civil parishes down the left margin. You can either click the name on the list or you can click the map location. I'm going right to Loch Ray for this example. This is Loch Ray Civil Parish page. In the center it describes what types of records can be found for information on people from the Loch Ray area. I'd have to purchase a report that describes where to find these records and what records are available with more detail like date ranges. Um, also down the left side the town lands that are within the civil parish boundary are listed and I could click on those town lands itself. Back on the place names tab I click RC parish maps Roman Catholic. Now I jump right to the browse tab and in the center of the map I'm going to select Galway. When I zoom in on that I see the Galway East Catholic parishes. I don't have a list of names down the left but I can click on the map because they're already um, named. There's no numbers is what I'm trying to say. So I click the Loch Ray Catholic Parish and I'm taken to this page and it describes what types of records, baptisms, marriages, and burials, and date ranges are known to be available for the Catholic Parish of Loch Ray, with descriptions of where I can find the information. Now, I started working on this because a man asked for help just last month on his ancestors that are supposed to be from Loch Ray, Galway. When I went to the National Library of Ireland's Catholic parishes for Gaul for Loch Ray. I only found one Hannon name and I searched um, 1824 to 1829. Some was on microfilm from Family Search because it has um, more inclusive date ranges than the National Library of Ireland's filming. However, I searched a 12 year span and only found one Hannon name in that baptisms registers. And I thought, there should have been much more than just one name. So I'm trying to think, if someone said they're from Loch Ray, what does that really mean? Loch Ray is in the center of the map, circled in red. It's about 25 miles southeast of Galway. I am going to show you several maps over the next several images that include this square. The rectangle is about 23 miles wide, 35 miles long. And there's Loch Ray zoomed in. This is the Griffiths valuation map. Loch Ray is right on the edge of the lake and that circle is the town. So did someone say they're from Loch Ray and mean they lived in the town of Loch Ray? Loch Ray was also a civil parish and a DED. There's roughly 40 town lands in this border of the DED which includes all the 35 town lands in the civil parish of Loch Ray. Did someone say they're from Loch Ray and mean civil parish? Loch Ray was also a poor law union. There are 695 town lands in the poor law union boundary, which is rough on this particular map. There were some town lands I couldn't actually find. So this is a rough boundary. So did someone say they were from Loch Ray because they meant the Poor Law Union. Poor Law Union isn't used today, but it was in the 1800s. They used it extensively in the mid-1800s. 
So if someone came over in the 1800s to America and they said they were from Lock Gray, were they talking about the Poor Law Union? There are eight baronies that are either within this boundary or on the perimeter of this boundary, where some townlands are in the Poor Law Union of Lock Ray, for example, and on the far right in the center might be within the Barony of Longford. Also, there are 32 civil parishes that are either included or on the boundaries of this perimeter. So they could be, and I just simply um, did a rectangle box showing, I'm not typing in all the titles here for you, so I apologize. It's just a zoom out showing the locations on the map of where all these um, civil parish names are listed. But if someone was from the Poor Law Union of Loch Ray and lived in a townland that was part of a civil parish, I need to keep in mind a broad research pattern that I have to search. I have to keep my vision broad. If they lived in any one of these townlands, where did they go to church? I plotted out in red all the Catholic churches. I also noted, and there's 35 different churches, so if someone went to uh, one of the churches, I have to figure out what parish records I have to check. Eight Catholic parishes. I have to look because if they meant they were from the Poor Law Union of Loch Ray and they lived way down in the lower right corner near Woodford, I have to check the Woodford parishes. So here's my red box, the National Library of Ireland, showing roughly the area of that um, boxes I was just looking at of the Poor Law Union of Loch Ray and showing the 18 different Catholic parishes I need to search the records for. Then I went in and I searched Griffith's valuation for any Hannon names that were in the civil parish of Loch Ray and there weren't any. I also searched for any Hannon names in the Poor Law Union of Loch Ray and there's only one, the red dot. That townland of Clogbrack is in the Black Square. Clog Brock is only five and a half miles from Loch Ray. So did someone say they're from Loch Ray because it was the nearest large town? It's also within the civil parish of Kilmeen, and those two red dots are the churches, the nearest churches to the townland. So if they lived in Clog Brock, they would probably go to those two churches. Those two churches are not in the Catholic parish of Loch Ray. They're in the Catholic parish of Letrum, which borders Loch Ray. When I searched the Catholic records in Letrum, there were 24 names that popped up between 1815 and 1829. So it's highly probable that the Hannon family was from the townland of Carl Brock said they were from Loch Ray because they lived near that town, and I have to now search the Catholic registers for the rest of the family. I went back to this map showing Claude Brock, and I realized, wait a minute, I need to be fair. That red dot is only five miles from the center of my image. That also means it's about five miles from the right edge of my image. What's out there? What's hanging that I'm not paying attention to? I brought in my search and I went to Griffith's Valuation at Ask About Ireland, show me all the Hannon names that are in the county of Galway. This map from Irish Times shows the 52 names in these variety of um, civil parishes. I map mapped it out. So Griffith's Valuation has civil parish location. I went to um, Irish Times to plot it out. And then I realized there are three more townlands very close to Loch Ray in the yellow, just to the east of the red box, which was Clog Brock, number 89. Now I have Clog Brock, which is about the center of this screenshot. 
now I have three more town lands in black boxes down the right side. I plotted the red dots, the Catholic churches in the area. I needed to know if they're from one of these four town lands, where would they go to church? They are several Catholic churches that are in the immediate vicinity of these town lands because I don't know which town land is correct and I don't know if they lived in like the lower left corner. If they lived in that town land, would they go to the Killamore Parish or Tanag Parish? I don't know where they went to church. But the titles here that you see on the screen are seven different Catholic parishes. Now here's my, my map again at National Library of Ireland. The red box showing the seven Catholic parishes I have to search that are to the immediate east of Loch Ray. But I also have to be aware, Thomas Hannon, this man's ancestor we were searching for, was actually born about 1830. Griffith's valuation, where I found Hannon names in those four townlands, was done 1856 in that area. By the time Griffith's valuation was done, Thomas's parents might have moved. They might have passed away. I don't know that the four family names I found in 1856 are the right Hannons. Maybe Thomas and his two brothers who came to America 1849-1850, maybe their parents passed away before Griffith's valuation was even done and there were no more Hannon family of Thomas's in the area. Could Thomas have said he was from Loch Ray, meaning the Poor Law Union, or nearest large town, and maybe the family really lived in the upper northeast corner, not immediate uh, east of Loch Ray? I have to broaden my search when I'm looking in these records and search every single parish in the area, and my boundaries are going to keep getting bigger and bigger as I do a spiral around Loch Ray. Thank you very much.